What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my review of the Crucial M4 SSD, the 256GB version. So as you can see underneath it I've got the 2011 MacBook Pro, this is the 2.2GHz version and I've got the SSD now installed inside the MacBook Pro and I'm just going to run through and give it a whole load of tests, performance tests, everyday life tests and just see how this SSD performs. So just before we start, this is the actual packaging which it came in. Nothing particularly special about it. That's what the actual SSD itself looks like. It looks very much just like a, any other 2.5 inch hard drive. And you can find this in most stores now for somewhere between 300 to 400 pounds. So I'll just put that to one side and then we can actually concentrate on how this SSD performs in this 2011 MacBook Pro. So first of all, Let's do a boot test and see how long this takes to boot up. Now, even though the boot time is actually very fast, the best thing about this SSD over and above a hard drive is the fact that once it has booted, it's literally ready to use instantly. All the icons at the top are all there and ready to go and it's instantly connected to my Wi-Fi network. Now, I'm actually running Lion on this MacBook Pro, so that's one thing to take into account but essentially the boot up time is never ever more than about 15 seconds and you're literally ready to go so very very fast indeed it's actually much faster to power on than even an iPad or an iPhone now once we're actually into the MacBook Pro and we're all logged in I'm just going to launch up a couple of benchmarking utilities so the first one that I'm going to use is disk speed test and you can actually get this from the app store for the Mac and let's just run this up now and see what kind of speeds we actually get. So we just hit start there. And this is actually writing one gigabyte files. So you can see on the right we're getting about 260 megabytes per second. And on the read it's actually going up to 421, 422 megabytes per second. Now if we were to compare this to a normal hard drive, you can actually see that it is a ridiculous amount faster than any normal hard drive. So that's just going to run away there and it will just keep testing that over and over and over again. So now we've done it on the 1 gigabyte. Let's try it on 5 gigabyte and see if that makes any difference. So let's just start that off. 260 megs on the right. And then once it's written that 5 gigabyte file, which is insanely fast, we're now doing 420 megs on the read. So in terms of the actual stress test on the hard drive, you can see it's ridiculously fast. Now let's just close down the tester and let's actually run up another tester. And we'll actually do a full Nova Bench stress test on this laptop. So let's just start this off. So first of all, it's going to just run through the floating point operations on the processor. Now the integer operations, MD5 hash calculation, now we're going to do a 3D test, now we're just testing the RAM transfer speed. Just in case you wanted to know, this one's got 8 gigabytes of RAM running at 1333 MHz. And it's also got the AMD Radeon 6750M graphics card. So, in terms of the RAM, we get a score of 175, 7952 megabytes per second. The CPU test comes in at 721. The graphics test comes in at 319. And the hardware test for the drive write speed comes in at 260 megabytes per second which is conclusive with that that we tested during the actual hard drive test so a very good score there on the Nova Bench now what I'd like to do is just do a kind of almost like a real life test if you like and we'll just open up a ridiculous amount of applications in one go and see how that works out so I'm literally going to my applications folder highlighting everything and then I'm just going to hit open now first of all we've got a load of folders in there that it's going to open and then straight away you can see it literally opening up hundreds of applications there at the bottom and they're all launched ridiculously quickly.
Let's just wait for all of those to finish loading. There was Final Cut Pro in there as well. The bounces have nearly stopped now. And that's pretty much it, done. So we literally opened up, I don't know how many applications there were, but probably 50 to 60 applications in the space of five to 10 seconds. And again, you can see that the SSD performance really does shine over and above any kind of hard drive performance. Now, even though this hard drive is relatively expensive, like I say, comes in at around the 300 to 400 pound mark, I would definitely, definitely recommend getting one of these SSD hard drives, not only if you've got a MacBook Pro, but in fact, in any machine whatsoever, it really does make the performance so much more desirable and just so much more usable on any machine that you actually use it on. So anyway, guys, there you go. That's my review of the Crucial M4 SSD. Like I say, I'm running this in my MacBook Pro. I'd highly recommend this product. It's absolutely awesome. I don't know how I would ever live now with just a normal hard drive. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one.